Hey guys, thanks for coming to Papaville Trains. This time around, we're gonna be building a tunnel. All right guys, thanks for tuning in to Papaville Trains. Uh, this time we're gonna build a tunnel. It's gonna be my first attempt at building a tunnel, so bear with me. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. Some people will make their form using different cardboard. Um, I'm gonna be doing mine with wire mesh. I've actually already done it, so I'm gonna show you the finished product. Um, but simple wire mesh, very easy to cut, easy to form, um, and the tunnel's not gonna be real big. The reason I'm using this is because I'm gonna be using plaster cloth over the top of it to give the hard shell. And then I'm gonna be putting a final touch on sculpt mold I'll leave information in the notes on uh, where to find these different items. And uh, so here we go. We're gonna, like I said, this is gonna be my first time doing it. This might end up being a two-part video because I'm gonna have to wait for stuff to dry and I gotta go back to work tomorrow. So um, hope, hope this helps you. Okay, so here's the tunnel that I'm making. I've already used that screening to make what's gonna be my under form on there. Um, I did a video earlier kind of showing how you can do these walls. That's gonna be the entrance, obviously, and my exits over here. Um, I put this paper down. Uh, we'll show you that later um, when I'm putting the plastic cast up to, so I don't get um, any drippings on my track. But it's pretty simple. You just form the, uh, the screening the way you want it. I use some screws here to hold it down. That's gonna be covered up. Got a couple down here on the bottom too, so it's also gonna be covered up. I'm gonna be taking uh, strips of the plaster cloth, which I'll show you. Um, it's gonna lay it over the top once that hardens. Then I'll go back in with the sculpt mold put a nice smooth layer on it, and then the final step will be painting and maybe throw some bushes around the bottom. So, uh, on to the next step. So this is plaster wrap. Basically it's the same stuff that uh, if you break your arm. They'll put that around it. What we're gonna do first, we'll be cutting this into the strips, size strips. That will be, so I'll be cutting strips about that size. We'll do that first. Okay, so the instructions on the plaster wrap say to dip it in warm water, wipe off any excess water, and apply. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, as you can see, it's gonna be a little messy. You might wanna use uh, some type of a gloves or something. I don't mind getting dirty. Okay, so we got it on there. Now we're gonna let it dry. Packaging says about 20 minutes. I'm gonna leave it on there a little bit longer. And then we're gonna go on to the next step. In the meantime, I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat. Okay, so the next step is gonna be using our sculpt -a mold Now this is gonna be the first time I'm using this particular product. I've had a couple of people say it's really good to use because it's lightweight. Um, 
Some people said use plaster of Paris. One guy said spackle, but you know, anytime you put heavy amounts of spackle on when it dries, it tends to crack. Um, so I guess I have to do this three pound bag at my local hobby shop was just under $12. Um, you can get a 25 pound bag on eBay or no, Amazon for $56. And uh, great for modeling, prod great for projects modeled by hand. Models like clay sets up and hard in 30 minutes like plaster, adheres to most clean surfaces. Uh, the directions are mix it two parts of this, one part water. Uh, stir it up three to four times. I think you need to move it more than three or four times uh, until thoroughly mixed. Uh, model sculpt mode or apply it to a form or armature for larger pieces with your fingers. Use tools or fingers. Moisten slightly to shape and smooth. Uh, add more desired as the mix starts to set. When dry, sculpt a mold, maybe sanded, sawed, carved, or nailed. All right. Um, so yeah, so, and you can also do, do uh, like rock molds with this. It also shows a, a little bit different as far as the instructions go, but I mean, I know we know how, all how to read, so just read the back and find the instructions. So let's go on to mixing this stuff up and start to apply it to the, oh, Laundry's done. I gotta go fold some towels first, then we'll be doing this. Okay, so I got two parts mix, one part water. And let's mix it up. It's kind of got the consistency of, I don't know, oatmeal, something like that. Make sure you get down in your corner. I mean, ultimately you want to use something with a round bottom, round bottom like that. But I happen to have this coffee can laying here. All right, so now we got it mixed up, and we will start to apply. All right, here goes nothing. Like I say, I haven't used this stuff before, so. Stuff kind of reminds me of uh, making a mixture for paper mache. Maybe just put it on there, and then I'll go back through with just my wet hand and start smoothing it out. Gonna make it too smooth because, like I say, this is just gonna be a mountain or a mountainside hill, whatever you want to call it. So, if it's a little rough, main reason I want to get rid of is all the little holes that are in the plaster cloth. too wet. Let's get it down in there. I have a tendency sometimes of doing things a little bit too quick. I have zero artistic skill. I 
wife many times has looked at stuff and said, oh my God, that looks terrible. But it works for me. You know, it all boils down to, I mean, so there's a lot of people in this hobby that are perfectionists. I am not one of those. For me, it's more about the, the fun that I have. Get it in all these grooves. Now, if you're doing this on an existing type of area, you might want to tape off along the bottoms and stuff like that to, so you're not getting it all over the place. Um, for me, I'm going to be doing stuff with all this down here in the future anyway, so that's not really going to be too much of an issue. So now, i got a little bowl of just of water here. that with just some straight water and it smooths it out very nice look at that I don't know how well you can see this on the video but it's really making a difference I'm just running this over with my hand it's coming out nice As it says on the instructions, this stuff is sandable. So if there's areas where I need to go back over it because it's a little bit too rough, I can always sand it. I don't know if once it dries, I doubt once it dries that you can just get your hands wet and do it. It probably dries, you know. So I'll continue to smooth this out. You don't have to sit here and watch this for hours, but, and then, you know, just wash up and when you're done, it's all water soluble. Okay, so I've applied the sculpt mold and there we go. That's basically the finished product. Uh, obviously got to go back through and I'm going to paint it. And uh, probably want some nice little bushes along the edge, use places where I'm going to have you know weeds growing. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, you know, let me know. I'll try to answer any questions that I might be able to. Um, and always please remember to like and subscribe and share these videos with your friends. Um, Hey, I'm the fastest growing O-Gage YouTube video channel available. Well, that's not true, but I, I like to say it. I have been picking up a lot of subscribers, thanks to everybody out there. So, that's today's video. I hope you learned a little something. And, as I always say, have a great day. Choo-choo! So I decided to go ahead and paint the tunnel. I added some landscaping. So I hope you liked the way it turned out. I did. 
So once again, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video with your friends. And again, thank you very much for watching.